Hello, in this video we're going to solve a system of equations. We have 10 over x plus 9 over y equals 2 and 7 over x minus 6 over y equals 11 over 2. Let's go ahead and work through it. Solution. I'm thinking we can use something called the elimination method and we can use it to eliminate these terms here. So if we multiply the first equation by 2, what's going to happen is that second term is going to become an 18y. And if we multiply the second equation by 3, the second term will be negative 18y. So when we add, everything should cancel. Let's go ahead and do that. So multiplying this first equation by 2, 2 times 10 is 20. So we have 20 over x okay, plus, and then 2 times 9 is 18. So we have 18 over y. And then we also have to multiply the other side by 2. So 2 times 2 is 4. Now let's go to the second equation. Multiplying it by 3, 3 times 7 is 21. That's over x. Plus, and 3 times 6 is 18. So we have actually it's a minus 18 over y. And then 3 times um, 11 over 2 is 33 over 2. Okay, so now we can take these and we can add them. All right, so adding these, let's add. When you add, you get 20 over x plus 21 over x. That's going to give us 41 over x. These cancel. And then we get 4 plus 33 over 2. So we have to think about how to add that. You can think of 4 as a number over 2. Think of it as 8 over 2. So 8 over 2 plus 33 over 2 is 41 over 2. And then so now we're in a really good place, right? We can basically cross multiply. So we get 2 times 41 equals x times 41. We can divide away the 41s. And so we get x equals 2. Very nice. I'm going to put that in a box because that is a huge accomplishment. Now that we have x, we can plug it into any of these equations to find y. I vote for the first one. <laughs> so let's go there. Putting at 2 where the x is, we get 10 over 2 plus 9 over y equals 2. 10 over 2 is 5. We have 5 plus 9 over y equals 2. Then we can subtract 5 from both sides. That gives us 9 over y equals negative 3. Multiplying by y, we have 9 equals negative 3y. And finally, dividing by negative 3 is going to give us y equals negative 3. We have x equals 2 and y equals negative 3. And that's the answer. If you wanted to write it as an ordered pair, which is probably better, it would be 2 comma negative 3. And that would be the solution to the system of equations. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.